Okay, now we are going to add the last topic in the code and our report will be ready. And this topic is CM Devel, on which we will be publishing Velocity and report will be moving. We are going to utilize this code and make some changes in our code. It is important the twist message. So we will be copying this and paste it here. This is the first step and then then it is adding the objects of subscriber and the messages and in here there is a callback function that it is calling and here it is the micro rosterist subscriber. Here are the objects of the subscriber and the message and now we are going to add the subscriber. Here it is the subscriber with the topic CMTL and under here we are going to add a new thread. In here we will just write it for because this is a new thread and here it is the callback function that we are going to define up here and this is the callback function in which uh, we are just getting the value of the linear x and, and we are getting the value of angular c and we are assigning it to the angular and then we are calculating the motor speed and the motor speed is the linear minus angular over 2 multiplied by this is not the actual formula to calculate the speed of the motor but for the sake of simplicity we are using this formula so that we can move our robot at the basic level now we have to move our fields as well we have connected our fields on pin 25 26 and 27 and 14 and here are the pins if we give some value to the pin 14 then the left motor will be moving forward and if we give some value to the 27 pin it will be moving backward the left motor and for the right motor these two pins are choosing. Now we have to set the mode of these pins to the output mode in the void setup. Now we will again go to the callback function and we also have to initialize these motor speed variables and we will be initializing it here and come back to the callback function cmd will callback and in here we are going to use some if else and here is the logic if the motor speed left is greater than zero then the left motor is going to move and here we are playing with the number 40 then what does it do the value on which the pwm works is from zero to 255 but if we give a value of 10 the motor does not move because the motor has the internal resistance there's also some weight of the robot so this is why the motor does not move so if we give 40 value to the pwm pin then it start to move very slowly then we can increase and the speed will be gradually increased with this with the higher value of the pwm now we have to assign this speed value to the particular fields of the robot for that we are going to create a function and in here here it is the function set motor and it takes the left speed and speed right if the speed left is greater than zero then it is going to set the in to pin to low because if the this pin is high then the left motor will be moving backward so if this is low then it's fine it is not going to move anywhere and then it assigns the pwm value to the n pin one n pin one will be driving left wheel uh, there is also a limit to the pwm pin at the maximum it can go as 250 because if we give the higher pwm value to the motor driver the motor cross a lot of current and in some cases it it turns off the esp32 so this is like a precaution you can play with your robot and you can also find out what values you see your robot if the left speed is less than zero then it is setting the in one pin low and then giving the pwm value to the in two the same is the case with the speed right okay and it, this condition checks if the both speeds are zero then it's going to set all the pins to low okay so this is the function that we are going to call in here and we will also have to define the prototype so these are the function prototypes and now we are going to upload the code so now uh, plug the ESP32 in upload so the upload is successful now plug out the ESP32 and turn on the 
robot connected via micro ROS engine. So go to your ROS to workspace and solve it first. And it is not connecting, so we will give it a restart. This is connected now. So there we go, there is the CMD well topic. Now we are going to publish over it. And now press I. And report is moving. The value is a little bit higher, so I will decrease it via pressing this Z. There you go, it is working now.